We're going to take a look at the intro chorus of this song, and this song is written was written in the key of G, so it's a it's a really nice chord. Uh, we don't have to use a capo on this one, and um, it has a pretty easy strum pattern um, to it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first uh, 20 bars of the song. The first eight bars of the song actually starts out with a whistling part. We're out of that part. Um, we're going to just go ahead and start in right at about 15 seconds into the track. So starts out with a G chord. Second measure is a C. Third measure is a D. Fourth measure is a G. And then we go back to a D. Okay, so there's five chords there, and what we're going to do is we're going to play that sequence four times, okay? So here's how we're going to do it. One, two, three, four. Now let's talk about the strum pattern on this. You want to really emphasize one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Kind of has, has that old um, 50s feel to it a little bit. So. No matter what I do, I'm still emphasizing that one, two, and three, four. Okay. The next section of the song is going to be verse 1, and there's 18 measures in verse 1, and it goes from about 53 seconds to about a minute and 28. So uh, a lot of the chords you already know, let's go ahead and talk about the chords you're going to be using first, and then we'll go ahead and play the sequence. So G, A minor, D, we're going to need to know a C, and then we're going to need to know one bar chord, which is a B minor. Okay, another thing with this particular part is there's going to be um, some sequences where you're going to have a shared measure in there. You're going to have an A minor and a D in the same measure, uh, a D and G in the same measure. So what you want to do is split that up. One, two, and three, four would be the second chord. So if we were doing A minor to D, one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. You want to practice that a little bit because that's going to be one thing that could potentially hold you up in this in this particular part. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and play the progression and then just kind of follow along with me and then we'll play it once more and then I want you to kind of play play with me. One, two, three, four. Okay, so right here on um, bars 8 and 10, you notice that I was basically playing a little accent there. So the first accent is just G, 3, 4. So you're just punching 1, 2, 3, 4. Then on bar 10, you're punching D, G, D, G, 3, 4. Okay, so you want to pay attention to that. Uh, we talked about the areas where you're playing two chords within one measure. You want to be um, you know, cautious of that, you know, that particular area as well. So now, as I said before, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and play this together. Here we go. Just keep that same strum. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Just punch that out. Here we go. Okay. One, two, three, and four.
Okay, so the next section we're going to take a look at is the chorus, and that falls at about a minute and 28 on the track to about a minute and 46 seconds. It's 10 bars. We already know all the chords for this particular part. There's some um, measures where it's going to share A minor and D, but other than that, it should be a pretty smooth um, you know, progression for you. Here we go. First measure is G. Second measure, A minor, D. Then we're going to go to a C. Then we're going to go to a G, A minor, G, split measure, A minor, D, and we go to C, G, A minor. Okay, so we'll do, we'll take it a little bit slower, I'll call the chords out as we go along, and then we'll go ahead and pick it up, uh, pick the speed up a little bit. Here we go, two, three, four. Now we'll pick it up a little bit. One, two, three, and four. Okay, the next section we're going to take a look at on the song is the solo, and that's about a minute and 46 seconds to about two minutes in the track, two minutes and, and a second maybe. And um, really, really nice guitar solo, but right now we're going to focus on the rhythm underneath the solo, okay? So later on we'll go ahead and teach you the solo, but right now we're going to just concentrate on the rhythm aspect of this. Same strum pattern, one, two, three, and four. You can do that, or one, do da, do da. Just make sure that you're punching the right spots here. So we have G, A minor, D, C, D, D, A minor, C, G. Okay, once more, here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, the next section of the song is the, we'll call it the accordion solo. It could be a harmonium, a couple different instruments kind of have that sound to it. I'm not really sure exactly what they use there, but we're going to play the accompanying part, accompaniment part underneath that section. And it's eight bars, starts at about two minutes and one second, goes to about two minutes and 16 seconds on the track. Now, here's the difficult part of this song where we are going to have to do some bar chords. There's no way around it. Um, but... You know, I think that you guys are up for the task, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have to do. First measure is a G. Okay, the second measure is an F sharp dominant seven, okay? It's real similar to an F sharp major. Okay, for those of you that are learning your bar chords, you're just gonna bar this first finger straight across, middle finger here, set it up like a major, right? Then what we're gonna do is take the pinky out that's our dominant seven. Okay, the next chord after that is an open B7. Then we're gonna go to an E. It's a brand new chord for the song here. Then we have an A. So it switches keys here. Now we're gonna go to a D. Then you do a D again for another measure to a G. Okay, so eight bars, we're gonna go ahead and play through it. Just be careful of the bar chords. We have F sharp dominant seven, B open seven. So uh, there are the two tricky spots on this particular part. Same strum, here we go. One, two, three, and four. Here we go, whole note. 
So bars seven and eight, we have a whole note there. So just be careful of that. Let's go ahead and play this progression one more time. One, two, three, and four. Okay, the next section of the song is verse two, and it's a little bit different than verse one, so we can't just walk right through this section here. We're gonna have to learn it. Um, it's a little bit different. So let's take a look at um, the timeline on this. Starts about 216, goes to about 246 on the track. And it's um, 16 bars, so there is one new chord that you're gonna have to learn, which is an E minor. What I'm gonna do is show you the basic style for this or the basic strum pattern with the basic chords. And then I wanna talk about what's um, um, a little part that's called alternate, alternate bass that you can use too. Starting from bar one here, G major, one, two, three, four. Again. A minor. Okay, the last G there was in the next part, but I just needed to kind of show you that little section there. The first eight bars where you have the G, A minor, C, D, uh, that part you're just gonna play basically the same way. The last eight bars of this segment, I want to talk about uh, alternate bass here, and that's a really cool thing that you can you can develop here, and it's a pretty simple um, pattern here. So we're going to go A minor, and then our alternate bass is going to be E, which is right above it. So. That would be an alternate bass pattern. When we do a D, here again, right above it, the open string. Now we have G to E minor, which shares, so we could go. Okay, so we're not gonna do the alternate bass on that. Then we go A minor, back, which we've already learned. D, D. Now, so we go D, rest, D, rest, D, and then we go three, two, open as a little walk down. I think you really need to do that on this particular part. You could just, just play the D, but it really kind of, you know, just sets the, sets the tone for the chorus. So um, sometimes those little buildups are real key for um, as you're playing a song and people really do remember that part. So let's go ahead and play the, um, the alternate bass pattern. One, two, three, four. That's just another little pattern that you can use within that chord progression just to kind of spice it up a little bit. Okay, the next section is the chorus, which we've already talked about. Um, and that goes 246 to about 305. Same thing, we've already learned that. The next section after that goes 305 on the track to about 316, and that's the percussion solo. We're gonna completely lay out for six bars, so I do want you to count on that part as you're playing through the whole entire piece. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four. Real important to count, especially when you're playing in a band, you really want to know exactly where you are within the song, and it's just a really good habit to get into. Um, the next section of the song is verse three. Um, let's go ahead and play it because there is some a little bit different, you know, pattern here compared to, you know, the other verses. So um, we're going to start with a G. You know all the chords already. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
And that just kind of sets the chorus up real nice with going to that D, the five chord, leads, leads right back into the next chorus, which we've already worked on the chorus before. That's at 346 to about 405. Okay, so the next section of the song is verse one basically again, and that's gonna go 405 to 425 on the track. And um, same chord, same strum pattern on that one um, to play through it. And then finally, we're back to the chorus again, which will take us from about you know, four, 440 to about the end of the song, which is about 520. It stops with a G chord at the very end. Okay, and you'll see that as we go through. So now I wanna talk about the section that falls right about 316 on the track, and uh, it goes for eight bars. It's half of what we call verse three, okay? And we pretty much have used the open chords throughout this whole tune with a, just a couple exceptions like the F sharp dominant and, and B minor. Um, this particular part, it's real important, I think, to go ahead and learn the bar chords here instead of the open chords. So the first bar chord would be G. Instead of playing this open, we would play G right here. And the way this pattern goes is you play G as a whole note. Two, three, four. Then what we're gonna do is one E and a two E and a three E and a four E, and we're gonna build up 16th notes, but we're gonna start dynamically, we're gonna start a little bit quieter and kind of build the pattern up. So we go two, three, four. Then we do the same thing with A minor, which is on the fifth fret. Two, three, four. Then we go G, A minor. C, eighth fret, and then back to G, and then it's really, really built up here. Then back to the next part. So um, I think the bar chords really, it, it just has that sound, you know, for this particular part. So you wanna, uh, I would say for that particular part, I would go to the bar chords if you can. If you're still working on bar chords and you don't have them down yet, play the open chord part that I showed you. But if you know your bar chords, I would say to try to go ahead and learn this part. It's really cool. All right, so now what I want to do is go ahead and play the whole song with the backing track. <laughs> 